pay attention on this and soon enough Hopefully, such thing as working space will not be a, such a big deal for you. Pretty often, here and there, you can find such comments from an intermediate and above fan spinners that there is no such thing as a working space of a pen mod. Well, it is half true. For intermediate and above pen spinners who know this little secret, working space is not important at all and probably they don't even realize why. But for beginners, it is a big deal. What is the working space of a pen mod? Well, this is a space on your pen mod. Most often it is the space between two caps or two grips, but in general, commonly, it is space between two heavy sides of a pen mod, between two elements of a pen mod which give it momentum. Just grips and caps represent the starting of this heavy side of your pen. So if you stay within working space, you are on control of your pen mod. It is center balanced and uh, Spinning is comfortable. When you go out of working space, most likely you lose control of your pen mod and in the best way you go to the territory of wipers. Hello spinner, you're on Penstock channel about pen spinning. My name is Alex Sukhov and today I will show you how to stay in working space and after a while you wouldn't even pay attention on this pen mods parameter. Also close to the end of this video guys, you can watch and take part in voting, in polling and choosing a winner in today's battle between GD spinner and pen sensei. I will show you both combos in this video, we'll put the marked time code for it in the description and in the first pinned comment. So if you're here just to watch the battle and choose a winner, feel free. Not every pen mod has working space or at least they are not so defined or hard to define. For example, Aros VPMX, it is pretty hard to define where is working space because it is not center balanced and it doesn't have such defined heavy elements. It is also true for other single capped pen mods such as RSVP based and G3 based, for example, light and unbalanced pen mods. In most cases, working space is a parameter for double capped pen mods center balanced. With classical design, the ones which have barrel, grips, caps, tips. Today I will show you how to learn to not to pay attention to this parameter, how to stay within working space on an example of a fundamental combo, the tutorial for which I have made not that long time ago, it was my previous video. Anyway, I will leave a link in the description and maybe in the first pinned comment to this video. They I showed how to do this combo made only out of fundamental tricks and also there I paid a lot of attention on how to hold the pen from the beginning till the end. So in most cases beginners need to pay attention on this matter and you can notice it in many tutorials from Penstock or any other tutorial channel especially for the, in tutorials for beginners. Sometimes holding the pen correctly helps you to make the trick by shifting momentum to needed side. Sometimes without it you can't even perform a combo because you go out of working space and uh, making a combo becomes impossible for especially for beginners. For example, on this fundamental combo I showed how to start the combo with holding your pen mod with its bigger part from inner side of your palm. But also in that tutorial I showed you that skilled pen spinners can do this combo easily, starting holding the pen with its bigger part looking away from you. And if you are a beginner and if you have already learned the, how to do this combo, starting the way I showed you, you can try to make it otherwise, with holding, starting with holding the pen mod like this. Most likely you will notice that it is, it is almost impossible. At some point you can perform a trick because you are running out of space at all. For example, doing sonic reverse when you will need to do it almost by grabbing the pen mod by its grip, which makes it really not that easy to, mat to do. This is where long working space begins to play a big role. Most of beginners feel it and after trying different pen mods, they begin to feel that they need some longer working space. I think that's the one of reasons why Ivan mod with the extremely long working space is one of the most popular pen mods among beginners. Though to my mind Buster CYL is a little bit better and I like 
faster a little bit more for its dynamic and the way it spins and it feels. But beginners always choose Ivan mode over Buster CYL and I bet working space plays a big role in that. When you do charge continues, the pen goes to one of its tips. When you do combos, you begin to notice that you can't perform tricks because you are holding the pen by its grip. But as beginners grow in their skill, they begin to learn how to avoid such things when it comes to charge and combos and in most cases. That's why at first I hear a lot from beginners that uh, working space is pretty crucial. But as they grow, they begin to deny its existence. And I witnessed it pretty many times. Yes, people tend to forget how they were beginners. And this is why most of intermediate and uh, proven spinners can't be good teachers for beginners, because they tend to forget the struggles they met at the very beginning. Isn't it weird to hear such things as we don't need trick tutorials of pen spinning, because you can just open a collaboration video and watch it in slow-mo and repeat after pen spinners. Well, according to this logic, we don't need to learn how to read, we don't need to learn letters, because you can just open a video with subtitles and try to match sounds with symbols. It will probably work if you have any idea about these symbols and uh, the words. But what if you are going to, to learn another language? What if you don't know these symbols? What if you're trying to match symbols of Chinese or Arabic or Russian language with what people say on a video? Don't get me wrong, I don't say that watching pen spinning videos such as collaboration videos and solos and uh, battles, for example, the one of which we are going to watch today. No, 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 no. They are very useful and I strongly recommend you to do it, to be subscribed to different pen spinners and watch at least them. But it is not the only and not the best way, especially for beginners, to learn how to do pen spinning tricks. So if you see a comment where a guy tells that it doesn't exist, don't really pay attention, because this guy has already forgotten how important it was for him. Well, it still is, because most of the spinners spin their pen mods, holding them within working space. But its length is not so essential for them as for beginners, because... And here we come closer to a a little secret which every intermediate and above pen spinner knows, but doesn't realize that. Because we slide pen mods. That's the whole point of this video. Thanks for watching. Nah, of course not. What a tutorial without me showing you what I mean exactly and how you can learn it by yourself. So, an example of this fundamental combo, because it is very easy and basic and everyone can do it. If I start it from this position, I will still be able to continue and finish it. Even though you, as a beginner, will stuck at approximately this point or at least at this. That's because while doing this combo I slightly correct positioning of my pen mod at some points. For example, here I will a little bit release grip of my fingers and let pen slide a little bit down. This way I will still be able to make tricks holding the pen by its center. And these slides you don't even realize, you don't even see them, because they are so micro micro slides. But if I will see that I'm going out of working space, I will release this grip between fingers pretty much at the point when pen is almost parallel to the floor mostly, because this way it will naturally fall down a little bit, so when I see and when I want to make the trick by holding the pen in the center, I will a little bit release fingers to make this grip. The same goes to charge continues. You can watch my video tutorial for it and see how I explain it there. How you can control your spinning by a little bit releasing the fingers at some points. So, for example, at this combo, when I do sonic pass, then I need to do sonic, but here I need the most part of the pen is looking down, so I can't release it, because this way it will also fall down even more. So, I will need to wait while, while I do this pass, and at this point, when the bigger part is looking up, I will release a little bit pen mode and continue doing it. 
And now it is time to poll for a winner in today's battle between Pen Sensei and GD Spinner. Watch combos closely and choose wisely. Poll right now. We will know the name of the winner in the next video, I think so. If you don't know how to take part in battle, go and watch the video, I will leave a link in the description, it is pretty easy. For that, first of all, you will need to join our community on Reddit, our pen spin, where you can meet all the pen spinners and speak to them, find answers to your questions and solve your, all of your problems in pen spinning and also show your skills and take part in battles as well. I wish you good luck with all that, may this tell be with you. Bye.